Welcome, folks, one and all, to something quite different. Made by the Game Kitchen, The Last Door is a browser-based, point-and-click adventure game with undertones of scariness. Not known for playing scary games, or, but I am known for playing variously atmospheric ones for not the same reasons The Last Door is. The first chapter is, um, up and ready. The game is kickstarted, by the way. And without further ado, considering I don't know much about this game, let's go! If you're wondering how on earth I'm recording this, uh, Hypercam, no, wouldn't work for me. So I'm having to fraps the Chrome window. If that's the way the game has to be recorded, it's the way it has to be recorded. Headphones in a dark environment are recommended. Well, I've got the headphones, but it's kind of morning, so the dark environment is going to have to wait. Let's go! After all the things I've seen. Ah! Clearly we are trapped inside this weird attic, and we have to escape! So... Um... Let's suppose we need to grab this? And... Uh, we'll sit down and just think about this, I guess. After all the things I've done. Well... Um, what does the game expect us to do here? Well, obviously the game expects me to use the rope to propel myself out of that window to freedom. My life is on a course that I can't escape from. Excellent. Freedom! Let us grab the rope! It's too late for me now. That's not an escape rope, that's a noose! How many times have you tied knots? No, go over here and think about what you've done. That's it. Okay, I suppose we should at least get you up there so that you can try and undo the knot. I just hope you could forgive me someday. Look, look! <sighs> okay, it's quite clear that you're not trying to escape, isn't it? Well, you are trying to escape, but not in the way that we think you are. So, okay, let's... let's do it. Yours sincerely, Anthony Beechworth. Well, that's a happy beginning, isn't it? <laughs> I am the bird of foreshadowing, and I bring you this game! Developed by all those people. I am also the bird of foreshadowing, and the music that seems to be very good so far was done by this man. I am the bird of shadowing's distant cousin, but these people were also involved in this game. And those people too. I only get a lamppost. I object. I only got a tree. How do you think I feel? <laughs> I got clouds, though. Well, I got graveyards, and they're made of the graves made of solid gold. So I think I won. Car. October, eighteen ninety-one. Videt nequisiat. That's the only thing my dear old friend Anthony Beechwood wrote in his letter. Psst! I've got some bad news for you about him. It had been many years since I'd last heard that sentence. It used to be the motto of the science and philosophy group that we secretly ran back when we were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland. We left it all behind, like simple childhood memories. But it was unusual. That letter could only mean something awful must have happened. Or that he just likes to prank you. Something must, that must remain absolutely secret. But I had to find out what was going on. No, you, you really didn't. Without delay, I took the first morning train to Sussex, to the address on the letter. That is a dapper hat! And there it was, the old home of Anthony's family, the Beechwood Mansion. That is a cool hat! Chapter 1, The Letter. Oh, here I am! Uh, well, this was a fun adventure, it's time to leave! Nope, game won't let me do that. 
even let me go. Oh, we can go this way. Let's go this way instead. Oh. A murder of crows is eagerly eating something. They're too vicious. Getting close could be dangerous. Take it this is locked. Yes. I suppose we need to actually go inside to do that, don't we? Okay. This is weird. Everything is silent, like there's no one living here. I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find him. And now the music kicks off. There's my coat! A note on the table. Dear Mr. Beechwood, Earth, due to the recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us, and much to our regret, we have no choice but to leave. We remain forever grateful for you for all those years of your service. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. Well, portrait of Anthony. He looks older than I expected. Hmm. A grandfather clock. It's the only thing sound around here. So we're not going upstairs, because if any game has taught me anything, upstairs is usually dark and dangerous and full of death. A gramophone. It looks rusty. What else have we got? Ah! A stuffed deer head. A drinks cabinet with glasses, some crystal boxes, bottles, and a matchbox! We need that! Only these matches could be useful. Oh, matches are always useful. Fireplace looks like it hasn't been cleaned in a long time. This large window is wide open, letting the cold dusk air in. Well, in we go to this place. Is this door open? Yes. Variety of cooking ingredients. Kitchen stoves and cleaning cloth. Oh, something I could grab there. A, a cleaning cloth. Okay, good. Plates and pans. Plate with some day old leftovers. And. Oh! Oh, you unlock the door to the murder of crows. Ah, brilliant. I was just. Oh! Double clicking means you can go to places faster. No canvas. Yet another missing canvas. Okay, that's a crooked painting. We can plainly do something with this. <laughs> this is fun! Oh! Oh! An old rosary with a solid wood crucifix. Yup, we'll have that. Man's job to invade and conquer everything. Ooh, a plant. And we'll open this door too. Hopefully there are no horrible monsters that go ooga booga booga in the night. It's padlock. Okay, that's good. There's a tiny, dark hole in the wall. Toiletries. A lamp! Okay, that would come in handy. I considering I have matches. We could like that. Is this a note? March 5th, 1891. Master has made us get rid of our religious objects. What's going on with him? Luckily, I found a plate to hide my ro place to hide my rosary. I can't pray every night without it. Well, I've got that now. Master has been complaining about Alfie. What would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. So I can't let, let that poor thing starve. He's such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food is waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about the master. He's growing more and more unlike himself every day. Mr. Beechwood's spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him food at the door barely eats anything. I'm really worried. Oh, let's open the window. See if a cat comes. Ah, the wood's giving up. I'll need some... Ooh. I wonder what happens if I put the rosary there. Yeah, true. Keep the rosary. Okay. So... Not many places we can go to now. I suppose I can go upstairs. 
And I'm going to light this just in case. Oh yes, I was right to light it. Is this open? No. Okay! Not liking the atmosphere right now, I've got to be honest. Oh! oh. Nail to the doorway! Yeesh. What about this door? Ah, I can go in here. A silver key! Yoink! That's mine. A double bed. It's covered with dust. It seems like no one slept here for days. And a fireplace. A gentleman with a serious and inquisitive look. Mm. This window leads to a balcony that communicates with the adjacent room. I bet that's how I get to the other room. Family portrait. Okay, we have a key. What does this key unlock? <laughs> that's the question. What about this door? Is this door locked? Yes. Well, let's try and unlock it. Nope, that didn't work. So what else could possibly be here? I hope this thing doesn't run out of oil. That would be very awkward. This door? Nope. Well, there's only one other door I know of that's locked. And that is all the way down here. Look at that man with his walk. He knows what's up. Yeah, that door is padlocked. Not anymore. Oh, good, the cellar. Slate record titled The Carnival of Venice. Oh, God, the floorboard's creaking. Some firewood. An iron crowbar! That's what we need to get into that room. What was that? Oh, it was just dripping. Cement is still... Fr cement? What has this guy been doing down here? Well, there's no horrible monster to go ooga booga booga at me, so, uh... I'll take that as a plus and go on my merry way. Better head upstairs soon. See if that crowbar opens up that door. It wasn't this door. It was the next one, wasn't it? No, not that one. Not that one. This one. Come on. Oh. No. It's not used there? No, then. Can I use it to open this door? Hmm. Very. Oh, I could use it to open this. Yes! There we go. And at that, folks, I'm going to go into this room because I know it's safe. Used up my crowbar, by the way, one of those legendary one use crowbars. And we all return. So until then, folks, I'll catch you later. I'll see you then. Later.